it's an early morning walk. Up here, and I'm here on the roof up again. And uh, because it's Shabbat, <coughs> I want to show the wonders of the nature that's here around me here. Here is a small <coughs> mango tree. This is uh, calamansi <coughs> with some fruit in it. And also here are the other plants we have. This one is an okra. Yeah, with the flowers and the fruit and this is what we call other vegetables that we have here and right here on top it's a very very nice experience to be here and uh, see the wonders of nature since today is Sabbath And before anyone else rise up in the early morning, I'm here alone. By and by, there will be many of the tenants will be going up because it's Saturday. They have no work. And here, I want gusto kong babatiin pala nagpapa shout out yung tutor ko. John Mike, uh, John Ezekiel Cosme, and Julian Ia Cosme. Ayan, I shout out ko na kayo. And also one of the members of the project at church, si Brother Vladimir Cabanes. Vlad, I shout out ko na kayo dito ha, sa king vlog this morning, this Sabbath. And our topic this morning is about miracles. Do you believe in miracles? May mga milagro pa ba na nangyayari sa ating buhay ngayon? Ano kaya sa palagay nyo? The miracles that Jesus did when uh, feeding the 5,000 men, ex excluding women and children, ay talagang miracle Dial out of the five loaves of bread and the two fish, Jesus was able to feed that 5,000 men, hindi kasama yung mga bata at mga babae. And here, also in the wedding at Cana, when uh, Jesus turned the water into wine, this is indeed a miracle. But don't you know that there are so many miracles that are happening to us today? Especially the, way, uh, the reason why I let you see the plants, the mango tree that is just small and uh, later on it will become a big tree and also the other plants. Don't you know that there is a miracle going on on the plants while they are uh, manufacturing food for you and for me? The leaves are the manufacturing centers of the plant. And uh, when the water comes up from the roots, going to the um, stem, to the branch, or to the trunk of the tree, it uh, assimilates uh, what we call uh, sunlight coming from the sun. And uh, also what you call carbon dioxide coming from plant, uh, animals and uh, people and then th this will be transformed into carbohydrates to form um, cellulose uh, sugar and starch so this is the process that is taking place in the plant or in a tree before uh, it produces the fruits that we are eating so when this happened in a large tree in a special way there is a, what we call a pumping pressure that is coming up from the roots to the trunk until it reaches the destination which is no other than the leaves and there was no such uh, pump 
device that could uh, do the work of pumping the pressure that the tree is doing pumping the water gallons and gallons of water from the roots up to the tree to a big tree um, the pressure is more than 3,000 pounds per square foot and uh, it has to move the water up to the leaves so every seed ang mga buto na nakikita natin when we are going to plant it it is a miracle when uh, a shoot forces itself out of the ground to form into a new plant that's a miracle a miracle working of God to devise another species of that particular plant. So some people question whether miracles are happening to us today. And uh, eventually, um, every day, they have not recognized the working miracles of God's power in a natural world. When God uh, changed water into wine, it is a moment or just in a few moments that he has started but when this in the grave grave vine when the water pressure the roots to pump the water up to the leaves and uh, transform that by combining into the carbon dioxide and the uh, sunshine into a very luscious and uh, juicy fruit of a grapes it is a working power that is within the plant that is doing every summer in the grapevine so in the case when Jesus turned the water into wine and the case of uh, grapes having these fruits and uh, making it in the process of uh, making it into wine it is only the difference of time element the wine press the process in making wine takes months but the process that Jesus did when he converted water into wine, it was just a moment. So miracles can happen in months and even in moments of our life. So when Jesus was here on earth, many uh, priests and uh, Pharisees and even the chief priests are very... Uh, uh, hard to consider that Jesus is doing miracles and signs. We can read here in John eleven forty seven. it says here, Then the chief priest and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, What shall we do for this man works many signs? So many signs and wonders Jesus did while he was here on earth to convey that miracles are working in our lives and in their lives during those times and the greatest miracle that is the transforming power of the heart and mind like other miracles that Jesus did the miracle of a new birth of a soul is the most um, greatest or the greatest miracle that could ever happen to you when you accept Jesus as your personal Savior. That is the greatest miracle that will ever happen to a man's life or to a person's life. So miracles do happen in our lives today in the natural world that we are living and even in the rising up of the sun and the setting down of the sun at sunset. You can see miracles that are happening in our world. So, 
whatever miracles you have experienced or have experienced later on i want to uh, discuss about uh, miracles that happened to my life uh, as a mother as a parent and later on we're going to study more about miracles and this sabbath this is just a beginning or a turning point of uh, studying about those miracles that happened to our lives so thank you very much for watching and uh, may god bless us this sabbath day